Upgrades are on the way for a popular Knoxville health center. State and local leaders joined staff from Interfaith Health Center to unveil the news on Monday afternoon. And reporter Avery Gingrich has been following this story since Friday and joins us with more on the announcement today. Avery. Thanks, John. Interfaith leadership and staff smiled, laughed, and shed a couple tears as they announced what they say is the biggest change in the center's history. Serve. Interfaith Health Center's Executive Director, Melissa Knight, can't stop smiling about the changes on the way. Interfaith officially announced its plans to renovate this office space on Middlebrook Pike into a new clinic for all of its services. Monday afternoon, Tennessee's Health Commissioner, Ralph Alvarado, is also excited. The good work of Interfaith is helping the Department of Health to achieve our mission, improving the lives of Tennesseans and also exemplifying what, what Jesus spoke of in Matthew 25, when he said, what you do unto the least of these, you do unto me. The new center will follow a model called integrated care. According to the American Psychological Association, integrated care emphasizes communication between healthcare providers to make a single comprehensive plan for patients. Interfaith board member Minta Roach says this will build on collaboration that already exists between the center and other providers. The hospitals give time and care and don't charge for that. So, uh, and then the pharmaceutical companies donate medications. But there's still work to do. Interface says the renovations will cost $10 million. It's raised almost $8 million so far, mostly from private donors. Knight is confident that Interface mission will continue to sell itself. When you're able to paint a picture of someone's neighbor, someone's the waitress that waits on you when you go to lunch. When you're able to paint that picture, it makes it easier for people to understand why they need to give. So we're gonna keep John, both Commissioner Alvarado and Knight told me Interface Integrated Center could serve as a model for other centers across Tennessee. Back to you. We look forward to it, Avery. Thanks so much.